Welcome back. Today is our first assembly for the Dark Paw. And what we're going to do is install the robot hat onto the Dark Paw. Where we left off last time is that we I simply plugged the robot hat from the dark pot onto the GPIO pins. And this is a lot flimsier than I am comfortable with. In the instructions, there is a plate that goes into it. So we're gonna to try to install that plate with the proper spacers. So I already got the proper hardware out. A good way to know if you have the right number of hardware is just to count the different types you have and we have four this time. As for the plate, I'm assuming it is this one here. As I've never done this before, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna get this out. I'm gonna just start by simply just pushing it. If they cut it cleanly, it should pop out. It's out. And you see that there's a cutout here. So, I'm gonna see if this fits in to the whole spacing here. It does. So, next step would be to rip off this protective layer of paper. So this is what it looks like. Our first acrylic piece that we take took out. And based on the schematics, it's supposed to go on like this. So I'm going to remove the hat, so I want to be as gentle as I can. In the schematics, the wire is, the wire for the camera is removed, but based on my proper judgment, I'm going to have a hard time installing the wires later on, so I'm just going to keep them on. Next. I would need to have the nuts. And right after the nut is the 2.5 times 6 standoff. This would attach this acrylic piece onto the hat. So let's start off with that. Put it aside. This one, I believe I already have four. And we're gonna install them on, oops, one by one. At this point, as I'm not using the camera yet, I'll probably just remove the camera for now. Remember there's this clamp that you need to pull out and then Spread the camera wire out. As you can see, I already damaged the wire wiring a bit, which is not good. Put the camera aside. Hold the nut there. Using the standoff. I'm just gonna use my fingers for now. I'm not sure if I all the way in. I'm not sure if I
next piece is the acrylic part. So it goes on like this. So the slot here is for the GPIO pins. And next is the 2.4 times, uh, 2.5 times 4 plus 6 copper standoff. One thing to keep note of is, when you're doing this is, the design was for the Raspberry Pi 3. It says it's usable with the Raspberry Pi 4. So we might have some mismatch in terms of that. Alright, now we have the plate in. It's time to screw the Raspberry Pi on like this, but first we must remember our our camera. Once again it needs you need to thread it through. So how am I gonna install this again? I want the white part with the white part on the pie. So like this. White, white, and the wire just goes straight in. The wire has to go through this slot here, so I need to put the hat like this. So I'm threading it through like this. The pie, there's a slot that I need to take out. I already did, or I just forgot to push it back in before, which is not good. Slip the wire in. Use two of my fingers, my thumbs. Yes. And now, let's all gently take the wire out and install the hat on. Just try to align the GPIO pins, apply some pressure, it's in. Now we need to install the M2.5 times four wires, uh, screws. I'm just gonna put it like that and grab four of these. That was perfect. Let's see which screwdriver it's for. It's this one. It looks correct. Okay. And we're going to use this one. We have the Raspberry Pi, the acrylic plate. It's no, it's no longer as flimsy as before. Thanks to the copper standoffs. There's a small small gap here for the power supply. So that's good. I'm not sure how the heat dissipation for the for the Wi-Fi is gonna work. Cause I know that when it gets too hot, it disconnects. So 
we're gonna have to see. And thank you folks. This is our first assembly in the entire setup for my Dark Pro, which is the Raspberry Pi module and the robot hat. See you guys next time. Ciao.